vacuum beater. We made, in production units, we made, we made a black, but we did a clear version so we could showcase all the features. In it. First thing is making sure that we load the seed disc and that each and every cell has a seed on it. We change the shape of the seed pool so that the bottom of it comes right down to the seed cell so that each and every seed is an opportunity to get loaded to that disc. The next thing we did was we made through as that seed cell, the hole, as it passes through the seed pool, it's moving at a slower rate. So it gives a lot of opportunity for that seed to get loaded onto each and every seed cell. This eliminates skips. Then as the seed comes around, we've come out with a brand new singulate. So first we made sure there was each and every seed cell was loaded. So we eliminate skips. Now we have to make sure we eliminate doubles. And that's where the new singulator comes into play. It's one singulator for all different seed types. It changed from for instance, corn to soybeans, just move the, move the singulator and you've now gone from corn to soybean. If you're in a year like this year, where you might have some larger than normal soybean seeds and you want to do a fine tune adjustment, there's also a micro adjustment on that knob. So you can go down the different rates within that. Normally you're going to leave it in the, norm, the middle position, but if you've got a year like this where you're going to have larger than normal seeds, you can make an adjustment. I'm going to go ahead and put it back with corn. And as I said, normally you're just going to leave it in that middle position for the corn. So that gets rid of our doubles. And then as the seed comes around, it's dropped off at the 3 o'clock position, ensuring that as the seed leaves the seed disc, it only has downward velocity. This allows us to design the meter to work at 2 miles per hour all the way up to 8 miles per hour. As we release the seed, it is elevated from the disc, so there's nothing for that seed to hit after it leaves the seed disc. Whether it's in a perfect position like this is in the lab, or in real world conditions, where your meter might be tilting at different angles, instead of having something to uncover that disc and have it bounce, as soon as the seed is released, everything drops away and the seed is left to drop down to the ground. Also showcasing here is our electric motor drive for our 4000 series vacuum. Now this electric motor is a 24 volt high torque motor. It eliminates chain drive, eliminates gears, and eliminates the need for a separate electric clutch. Additionally, with this electric drive on each and every meter, we can vary the rate of each meter individually across all the rows. That means if you're going around, say, a contour, we can actually, we will adjust the speed of this meter at the middle row to make sure you're getting the same spacing on your seeds the inside row all the way out to the outside row, the outside row will be turning a lot faster in order to compensate for that additional distance that you have to go to. It has to move around the curve. So, last time we got 99.9% .9 accuracy. Let's see what we do this time. Perfect simulation.